I'm Liam the Plumber, a Thomas Dudley Ambassador, and today I'm going to show you how to service and repair the Thomas Dudley Niagara flush valves. In your home, you're more than likely to see this green Niagara flush valve. This has been replaced with this new blue version. They are both exactly the same valve, they fit on the exact same cradle and work in the same way. They still use the same hoses and the same buttons. The only thing that's slightly changed is the colour and the internal mechanism. To fix an issue with these valves of water constantly running into the pan, it could be the seal on the bottom of the flush valve. Or another problem with these is potentially an issue with the flush. That could be the button or the flush valve itself, or even the cables in between the two. If you have an issue with the flush, you could start by checking the button. Simply gain access to your button that you have on your system. Then remove the air hoses from the button, hold your finger, over the hose connections, like so, and then press the button. You should feel resistance and no air leakage. If you feel air leakage, this indicates a problem with the button. Another thing you could try is the hoses. Simply cut these down by 10 millimeters on either end and refresh the connection onto the button and to your pneumatic flush valve. If you still have an issue with the flush, after confirming the button is not a fault or the hoses are not a fault, then it may well be the valve, which can be purchased as a spare from Thomas Dudley. If you have water constantly running into the pan, then you need to check the seal on the bottom of the Niagara flush valve. You can simply do this by removing it from the cradle it sits in inside of the system. Simply twist and pull out. That cradle is still captive inside of the system. With your Niagara flush valve, out of the system and the cradle, flip upside down to expose the sealing washer on the bottom of the valve. With this, check there's no distortion in the washer and there's no debris sitting there. So that sealing washer now clean, put the Niagara flush valve to one side, then go back to the cradle inside of your system. With this, ensure there is no debris on the inside of that cradle. So run your finger on the inside and a cloth to clean it up. Make sure there is no scale or debris there at all, as this can impede the washer from sealing correctly. Then grab your Niagara flush valve again and reinstate back onto the cradle. Fill the system back up with water and check the water is no longer running into the pan. If water consistently runs into the pan after doing this, then you need to therefore replace the sealing washer on the bottom of the Niagara flush valve. This can be purchased as a spare from Thomas Dudley. To do this, simply remove the valve from the cradle, just like so. Then flip the Niagara upside down till you see the sealing washer again. Remove this from the valve and get your replacement washer from Thomas Dudley and then reinstate it back on to the flush valve so it sits correctly, just like that. Then reinstate back onto the cradle and twist, turn the water back on, make sure that water is no longer coming through that pan. 